Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Tony Canigliaro Memorial Gymnasium for St. Mary's Girls Basketball, taking on Font Bond, their last regular season. And who would have thought that they would have played 20 games? Nice pass. They missed a the layup. They did everything right. Great pass, and it came up short on the layup. They try to go back door to Priera. Up overhead, tipped away. Blunt ball and gets it back with a chance to get on the board first. And they're 16 and 3. Another great year for Jeff Newhall and the girls' basketball team. Wheelies saw that pass coming, missed the layup. Dietrich had to save it from going in the backcourt. They bothered Quillies a little bit. They try to go inside and get picked off. Tough shot. Bergdorf with the rebound. A nice pick, but. It was Montalvo with that pick, but she got bothered and had to take a tough shot. Well, Priera makes one and gets St. Mary's on the board. St. Mary's man to man, but they'll double or triple any chance they get. They try to go inside. Dietria reached around, got a piece, committed the foul. St. Mary's Alyssa Rossi is 15. Nicola Teacher is 12. Chrissy Quiles is three. She blocks the shot. We're gonna jump ball. Maya Bergdorf is 41. And Kellen Priera is 14. St. Mary's gets the basketball with the altar possession. Bonpon goes. Three quarter pressure. And Jeff Noho will make a substitution right away. PJ Parent is coming in. Priera goes out. Petria. She chips in, she, she does a great job defensively. Traveling call. For Fort Bond, four is Colleen Fogarty, 11 is Alex uh, Halon. Pass off the fingertips of Bergdorf. 15 is Shakira Montalvo. Loose ball, who else? Dietria with it. Off the rim, no good. Shot got blocked. One ball coming back the other way. And Quiles gets back and knocks it out of bounds before they can get the layup. Lindsay Rene, 23, is the last starter for Fontbonne. Mora Spignisi is the coach, Jeff Newhall. Coach NAD. We got a timeout. That was a two by Bergdorf. I thought it was on the line. So it's a six nothing run to start the game for St. Mary's. I talked to Jeff Newhall before the game and I said, did you ever in your wildest imagination think you would play 20 regular season games? 
He said, absolutely not. Well, with everything going on, and that was after they had a little delay at the beginning of the season, they were able to squeeze some makeup games or replay games that were virused out, if you will, early in the season. So this is the last regular season for the girls. The tournament, it's not the state tournament, it's the Central Catholic Central League Cup Challenge will start. St. Mary's will play Monday night. Big matchup. Just being sad, a big matchup tomorrow, Sunday afternoon. St. Mary's taking on Bishop Fellick, the boys' version. St. Mary's doubles up. Pump on heels it pretty well. Three point bomb. Bounces around and it goes. Colleen Fogarty. So they get on the board with a three. They almost get the steal. Block. Grossi blocked. Fontbon saves it. Good defense. They blocked Dietria. She was too far under. And then they blocked Grossi and then saved her from going out of bounds. We're going to jump ball. Grossi tied up Renee. Three-point shot, banked it in. <laughs> Alex Elad. <laughs> Rossi comes back and gets that basket. He gives St. Mary's the lead. Not quite to the halfway mark of this first period. Tipped away by Queeley, she steals it. Missed the layup. Bergdorf powers it in. She just said, get out of my way, I'm laying it in. Queeley's battling for it, St. Mary's will get the basketball. So game of runs, St. Mary's ran the first six. Hortbaum ran six and tied it up. <coughs> St. Mary's has run four in a row. Parent from dead in the corner, off the rim no good. Very quick three, tipped around. Pump on gets it back. A wild underhand shot. She had her head down. She was going to the basket. She didn't care who was in her way. Shot misses everything, goes out of bounds. AJ Hyacinthi in the game. Stolen away. Restolen by Fontborn. The runner around the rim and it doesn't go. Fontborn gets it back. It looked like one off Renee's foot.
They just beat the five second clock. Boy, Funk on taking some wild shots. Abby Kornstein in the game for St. Mary's. And she gets bumped and knocked down. This is a welcome. You come on the floor and they knock you down. Nice pass underneath. St. Mary's going deep to the bench early. Hyacinthi and Kornstein. Dietrich is the only starter left on the floor. Excuse me, Grossi's out there too. Around the rim and in by Renee. Long three around the rim and out. Points are hard to come by in this first period. Briera takes it away, and now it's restolen. They missed the layup. Dietrich with the rebound. Got clogged up, had to take a wild shot. Three point basket by Priera. St. Mary says the biggest lead of five. Three point shot. Another one by Fogarty. They got four baskets, three of them a, a triple. Strong drive to the basket by Priera. Hyacinthi takes it away, lays it in, and gets fouled. They doubled up. They took it away. Hi Hyacinthi lays it in. <laughs> Guilis is back. Bergdorf is back. Aaron is getting set to come back. Just over a minute left in this first period. Off the rim, no good. Steps called. Parrot with it. Almost dribbled it out of bounds. Bergdorf, tough shot. And we're going to get a foul, I think, on Bergdorf. She got stuck going to the baseline, had to throw it up. Bobon can personally take the last shot. Shot clock is just about off. It got tipped away. Shot is missed. Kornstein with the rebound. From dead in the corner, off the rim, no good. Bergdorf with the rebound gets fouled. She was in the right place at the right time.
She's an excellent free throw shooter. She'll come out. Abbott will come in. Game clock winding down. Tipped away, tipped away again. Wheelies lets it fly. She was looking for one of her patented half court shots. She's made two of those this year. So we were tied at six, and St. Mary's went on a 13 to five run. And that's where we are, 19 to 11. St. Mary's leading, looking for their 17th win. St. Mary's 19, Fawn Pond 11 at the end of one. Abbott, Quillies, and Kornstein, the five volts there. Strong move to the basket by Rene. Gets Fontpoint on the board first. And hits the three. Harris going to get called for the foul. <laughs> Dietrich will come in. Kornstein goes out. Off the rim, no good. Gets her own rebound and puts it back up and in. Nice shot, Montalvo. Priera couldn't save it. Straight away threw it in. Four in a row by Montalvo. Stolen away. Blocked. That was going to be a very tough shot. Let her take those shots. Underhand layup. They go inside, they missed the layup, but they got a foul. They went over the top to Emma Kale. They completed the pass, she missed the layup because she got hit, she'll get through with the line. Makes the first. A seven to three run by Fontbonne has got them back within four. Makes them both. 
That was an eight to three run. Riera couldn't hit it. Yeah, they're gonna get Riera for a foul going over the back, I think. So with 538 left in the, in the period, Fontbonne will be shooting free throws the rest of the way. Wheelies took it away. Great pass. Riera got it to go. Wheely started it with the pick and then finished it with the pass. Riera picks up a quick eight points. And St. Mary's lead is back to five. We mentioned this is their 20th game of the season. There are teams around especially like here in Lynn, they would like to play half that schedule or get any games in. Hopefully, English Classical and Tech can start picking it up. My understanding is they're opening up Manning Field. St. Mary's will get a few football games there. Kip will get a few football games there. The plan is for March to start English Classical and Tech getting sports. They'll be playing in the GBL. English and Classical will be this year. The problem for Tech and basketball will be who they played. A lot of their teams that they played during the season are playing now. It's been a rough season on athletic directors and superintendents and school committees and mayors and politicians in general, and certainly for parents, teachers, principals, it's been a horrible, horrible time. Hopefully this vaccine that's here and eventually being passed out will be the key to get us through these horrible times. Shot clock is winding down. The runner off the rim, no good. Bergdorf with the long rebound. They leave her alone. Missed the shot. Okay, we're looking to see if Pontpon called a timeout. They didn't. So they blew the whistle for a jump ball. It'll be St. Mary's basketball. Long three by Queeley's. Nice shot by Priero to sneak inside and get the rebound. She got hit as she took the shot. She'll be at the line for two. <laughs> Make some bowls, she's got 10. And she gets involved with knocking the pass into the front barn bench area. St. Mary's full court pressure. They try to go deep. Somehow they completed it and they made the shot. And that's one combo again. She's got six in a row.
Grealish had it blocked. Pontpont comes away with it. Too strong with the shot. Tietria comes away with it and try to lead Sierra through too far ahead. Just past the halfway mark of the second period. They try to go over the top. Inside, can't get it to go. Crossy takes the rebound away. Down court, the long pass. Bergdorf gets loose inside and hung there for a while, then dropped in. Looked like it was going to fall out. It hung there for a few seconds and then dropped in. Off the rim, no good. Tip back. Knocked away, out of bounds by St. Mary's. Three minutes straight up to play in this first half. Girls hockey team will be in action tonight, starting the Catholic Central League Cup Series. Up and good. Juan Calvo is having a, a period. She's got eight. It's Montalvo. She took steps. She had Montalvo ahead, opted to dribble up, and then when she stopped to make the pass, she stutter stepped, and it cost her. Nice bounce pass from Priera de Grossi. A wild shot again. Bergdorf gets fouled going to the basket. Both teams will be shooting free throws the rest of the way. That'll be for the final 217 left on the clock. Bergdorf gets her 10 point. Her and Priero got 10 apiece. Quantbon only has 23. Well, Samiri says their biggest lead of nine. Great play. Dietria knocked it away, came up with it. Saved it as she was going out of bounds. That would have been the icing on the cake if she hit that three-point basket. She made a great play saving it to Bergdorf. Another wild shot. Crossy comes away with the rebound. Coast to coast off the rim and out. She ducked under the defense, got the shot off, and went off the rim and out. Yeah. Trying for that little wraparound. Montalvo went under the basket, tried to wrap it around, it got blocked and she shaved it, knocked it off, St. Mary's out of bounds. Just over a minute left in this first half. Quilly's is back as his parent at Hyacinthi. <laughs> the 
They blew the whistle for the shot clock violation. St. Mary's. Just as well. They looked like they had a fast break. They threw it away. St. Mary's will get the basketball. St. Mary's defense has caused an awful lot of problems. Wheelies can't hit the shot. Grossi came away with the rebound. The runner by Parent doesn't go. Boy, another wild shot. They have taken some incredible shots in this game. Off the rim, no good. Good job by Renee. She got a step on Queeley's. Went strong to the basket, got hit. She'll get two with the line. She did a nice job rebounding it and then got clear. She had probably a step, step and a half on Queeley's going to the basket. Montalvo is keeping Fon Bon in this game. She's got eight in this period. This is Renee. She makes them both. Parrott missed the layup. Great pass from Quealy's. She had an open look. That's going to do it for the half. So we were tied at six in the first period. St. Mary's has scored 26 since then. Fontbon has only scored 19 and St. Mary's 32. Fontbon 25 at halftime. Just about set to start the second period. Everything has changed this year with the virus. The, the, the teams on the bench are spread out. <laughs> Got to stay six feet away. No jump ball to start the game. Everything out of bounds is from the side, not underneath the basket. Only two minutes at halftime. You can't go in the locker room. So you start the game and 1.30, you're out of here by, almost by 2.30. Juan Juan has the basketball, St. Mary's has a seven point lead. St. Mary's is missing one of their players off the bench. Rene gets hit going to the basket right off the bat. Van Nguyen, who's one of the first subs off the bench for St. Mary's is in street clothes. I don't know what her problem is. Hope she's okay. Terrific young lady has played extremely well for the Lady Spartans. We've become very good friends. Renee makes one. Quillies. Bergdorf. Hyacinthi. Dietria, shot is shot. Parent is the other side of here in the second half. Off the rim and out. Montbon had three three-point baskets in the first period. They haven't had one since. And Fogarty, who just missed that shot, had two of the three. She hasn't scored since. Right through the fingertips of Queeley's out of bounds. Oh. 
Quick three-point shot is missed. Saved nicely. Off the rim, no good. Petrie with the rebound. Did a nice job saving it. Dietrich is three, out of bounds. <laughs> Priera is coming back. Hyacinthi goes out. Quick shot off the rim. Tipped away by Montalvo to herself. And they call steps. She... Alad was gonna make the pass, but she took a couple of little hops before she made the pass. Bergdorf inside. Missed the shot, gets it back and gets hit. They bothered her with the first shot. They could have called a foul on the first one. They called it on the second one. What an addition she's been the last two years coming over from Belmont, transferring over. A real miss. Down the lane, too strong with the lefty. Queelys to Bergdorf. Great pass from Queelys to Bergdorf. She lays it in and gets fouled. Montbon actually won the second period, outscoring St. Mary's 14 to 13. Grossi comes back, and St. Mary's got their starting five on the floor. Priera, Dietria, Bergdorf, Grossi, and Quilis. She missed two in a row. What are the odds in Vegas for that? They tried to go down court, and they couldn't handle the pass that goes out of bounds. Bergdorf again, found the bottom of the rim. Great pass from Grossi, a little too far inside. They bother a little bit. Steps again. Coach, Coach Spignisi wants a timeout. She wasn't happy with that traveling call. The lead is back up to eight where it was at the end of the first period. Hawkbond has been hanging around a little bit. They hit a couple of shots, but they've taken a couple of wild shots. See, Mary's was on the road last week. They lost to Norwell. Norwell got 44 points. St. Mary's got 38. I would have bet my life that St. Mary's would win the game if Norwell got 44. St. Mary's has been scoring a lot of points this year. All of a sudden, they played a game where they got 38. That's one of their three losses. Only one loss in the league. They lost to Norwell. And I, I believe the other one was... Bridgewater Raynham. They lost to Bishop Fian on the road after beating him soundly here. Just under five minutes left in this third period. St. Mary's by eight. 
Fontbonne has never led. St. Mary scored the first six, Fontbonne tied it up. St. Mary's going to have to take an eight point lead at the end of one. They've been leading ever since. Fontbonne has been trying to get back in it. St. Mary's trying to put him away. Wheelies, a long three, she gets it. That's her patented shot, she hasn't hit it. She's missed a couple of those. Maybe that'll perk her up. They lost it, get it back. Montalvo has it knocked away, but they're gonna call a foul on St. Mary's with the reach in. Biggest lead of the game for St. Mary's 11 on that three by Quealy's. Piera picks up her second foul. Both teams have committed two. Montalvo has it blocked. They get it back and we get a foul. Piera and Bergdorf combined to block the shot, but Right there to pick up the loose ball. First one is good. Amanda Gazon hits them both. I have to correct myself, that wasn't Gazon. Great pass from Dietrich to Grossi. Try to save it right to Fontbonne. It was Professor Murphy. Out of bounds, off point point. <laughs> Piero will put it in play. Quillies will bring it up. Way cross court. From dead in the corner, off the rim, no good. Bergdorf's gonna get called for a push up. She walked right out of her shoe. Fourth foul on Bergdorf, she's gonna come out. They double up on the sideline. Murph Murphy got a break. St. Mary's knocked it out. She was in a tough spot. Montalvo. Gets it up. Trying to go to the basket and it went off her foot and out of bounds. Up on a little too much one on one. Quillies will bring it up. Too strong with the three. It goes to the floor, a pile up, it'll be St. Mary's basketball. Shot no good. Nice block out by Murphy to get the rebound. Three minutes and counting left in this third period. Again, a little too much caught on one. St. 
Shot clock winding down. Grossi took it away. Walks in and lays it in. Nice job by Grossi. Wheelies takes it away. She walks in. And we're going to time out. They cut it to nine. All of a sudden it's 13 with four in a row by St. Mary's off the two steals. Good defense by the Lady Spartans. 219 left. St. Mary's will be the number one seed in the Catholic Central League Cup Tournament. They play here Monday night against Williams. They'll play Wednesday, and I'm assuming it will be Friday if they keep winning the final. Two nineteen left in this one. And Mary's done an excellent job. They're going to school full time. They had a full season of soccer and track and golf. And they're having a full season of hockey and basketball. And I know that people would be saying if St. Mary's can do it, how come English and Glasgow can't do it? The difference is that St. Mary's has about one-tenth of the population of the Lynn School. Block, they get it back. Shot up and good. Olivia Costello got that basket. Everybody's going to take a turn trying to knock the basketball out. Good job by Fogarty. Montbon only has one basket in this period. There's a three by Dietria. Her second trifecta. They're making Fogarty work in the backcourt. Wild shot again, missed everything. Petri gets hit, she takes that lefty shot. So they had it down to nine. Five in a row, they had nine, they had the ball. And Dietria makes the first. And now it's up to 15. Grossi with the rebound. Her shot got blocked. There's a tie up, St. Mary's will get the basketball. Now it's Fontbonne's basketball. The board had St. Mary's. Now they changed it to Fontbonne. Six in a row by St. Mary's has pushed the lead to 15. And a little behind the back action. They lose the basketball. Clock winding down. You have to take the quick shot. Leeds 
Petria to Priera. Steps call, they saw the open play underneath. St. Mary's eight in a row. They can run most of this period out. They try to go inside, tipped away, picked off by Murphy. Montalvo. They try to go inside, take it away. Grossi try to make the pass. Abbott try to save it. She saved it right to Montalvo, but Montalvo couldn't hold on. 0.6 seconds, St. Mary's has to catch and shoot. They dropped the ball, they had a perfect play. They ran Abbott around the screen, she was wide open. They made the pass. She bobbled it just long enough so they couldn't get the shot off with 0.6 seconds. What a big finish. An eight nothing run by St. Mary's. Fontbonne had it down to nine and they had the ball. And then St. Mary's went on that eight nothing run and it's a big 17 point lead. St. Mary's 48, Fontbonne 31 with a period left. So a big third period for St. Mary's. They put 16 on the board. They held Fontbonne to six. Fontbonne only got one basket, four free throws. Eight of their 31 points have come from the free throw line. And they haven't hit a three since the first period when they knocked down three early. St. Mary's will have the basketball comfortably ahead on their way to their 17th win. They tried to go inside. Good job by Renee. She just she didn't block the pass. She just caught it, picked it off. And she goes to the basket. Too strong. We're going to jump ball. It'll be St. Mary's basketball. Teacher, Grossi, Quillies. Parent and Abbott, the five off there for St. Mary's. Shot, no good. Queely's with the rebound. It was actually Parent with the rebound. He gave it to Queely's and Queely's double dribble. Almost got in trouble there. One point is the habit of dribbling behind their back. Trying to go to the basket. Fogarty has it blocked and knocked out. Seven seconds on the shot clock. The runner goes. That's Montalvo again. She's in double figures. She's got 10. Inside the Grossi. It went out off Abbott.
Fogarty looking to bring it up. Up and in. That was Montalvo again. Great drive by Queeley. Kale knocks it down. Although they gave it to Montalvo. Petrie will get two at the line. <laughs> Makes the first. Misses the second. They lost. Renee knocked it off the foot of Grossi, but she was standing out of bounds when she did it. So St. Mary's gets the basketball. Off the rim, no good. Long rebound to Fontbonne. Too strong with that running layup. Bergdorf saved it, but right to Fontbonne. Wheelies took it away. Your parent took it away. Grossi with the rebound, it won't go all around the rim. She got great position inside. Rebound is a miss. She's perfect. They beat the press. They would have had a shot, but they dropped it. Off the rim, no good. Parent with the rebound. Quillies will bring it up. Inside the Bergdorf. Kick out to Parent. Off the rim, no good. Hyacinthi with the rebound. And we're going to get a blocking foul. Will they call it a shot? They're going to give her two. Bergdorf just said, Here I come, get out of my way. One official thought it was a non-shooting foul. He gave ball to get out, out of bounds on the side, but then they gave it back because they're giving her two. That ends her streak of misses, which is really unusual. Taken away by Queeley's. Bergdorf had it taken away. Montalvo. 
shot, three point basket. Elhard. That's their first three since the first period. Wheelies has it knocked away by Rene. Just past the halfway mark of this fourth period. Off the rim, no good. Murphy with the rebound. Montalvo well, pushes it up. Had it knocked away right into the lap of Bergdorf. Underneath, great pass from Bergdorf to A.J. Hyacinthi. Hyacinthi. And the lead is 18. Rossi anticipated that pass. Walks in and lays it in. She's got 10. Third player in double digits. Bergdorf has been able to survive these few minutes with a she took her out with four. Now she goes back in. She hasn't committed a foul. 3.06 left. St. Mary's going into the Central League Cup Tournament. And it's going to be the number one seed. They're going to be 17 and three. I mentioned two of those coming outside the league schedule. So all four St. Mary's teams will be in action finishing up the season. Boys don't get the, hockey doesn't get to play until Wednesday at two o'clock in the afternoon. St. Mary's with their biggest lead of the day, 20, 59-39. With three minutes left in the second half, they've held Fontbonne to 15 points. St. Mary's has a foul to waste. St. Mary's will be shooting. Fort ball is at the limit. Rebound, Bergdorf. Lily Newhall's in the ball game. That's Jeff Newhall's niece. Off the rim, no good. She's an outstanding softball pitcher. And Grossi, who's having a very nice game and a very nice year. She, very good third baseman. Bergdorf forced that shot to go wide. Strong to the basket, squeezes it in. And we have a timeout so the St. Mary's can make substitutions. Michelle Azun is in the ball game. Along with Ellie Fox. <laughs> Jeff Newhall again doing an outstanding job. Him and his coaching staff they go deep in the tournament every year. They went they would have been the state champions last year, but 
they won at the Garden after winning the North and the Eastern Mass. It was shut down because of the virus. They were going to play a team in the state final that they beat handily in a, a tournament earlier in the year. And they certainly would have been well on their way to trying to win the North, the Eastern Mass, and go back to another state championship with this group. But the best they can hope for is a Catholic Central League Cup championship. And they're the number one seed. 155 left in this one. A rare Saturday afternoon game. And tomorrow there'll be a rare Sunday afternoon game with the boys starting the Cup Series. Three point basket. By Odegaard. Ball goes to the floor, Newhall gets it to Fox. Hyacinthia finds her way to the basket. That last little step got her an open lane and she laid it in. We're gonna reach in foul. That's gonna even the fouls at six. Both teams will be shooting, but there's only a minute eight left. Hyacinthia's only a freshman. She's gonna be a good one. Another three point basket, this one by Murphy. They try to go inside, taken away. They get everything right and they miss the layup. St. Mary's will get the basketball. Almost stolen away, Hyacinthia saved it. Off the rim, no good. We're gonna jump ball, it'll be Fun Pond's basketball. Only 13 seconds left. This will be their last possession. Jump ball, St. Mary's will have it with five seconds left. That'll do it. So St. Mary's picks up their 17th win. The closest Fontbon came was six to six. St. Mary's won a a 13 to five run to open up a 19-11 lead at the end of one. They held Fontbonne to six points in the third period. Open up a 17 point lead and they win it going away. 63 to 45. For Fontbonne, Montalvo played well. She had 12. Renee played well, also had eight. For St. Mary's, Queeley's had seven. Hyacinthi had six. Dietrich had eight. Priera had 12. Grossi had 10. Parent had three. And Bergdorf had 17. To lead all scorers in the game and to lead St. Mary's. So they finish up the regular season on a high note with a big win over Fontbonne, they go into the Catholic Central League Cup Tournament 
with a 17-3 record as the number one seed, and they are looking to take that cup home. So a good all-around defensive effort, three players in double digits led by Bergdorf with Grossi and Priera, and they win it. St. Mary 63, Pont Pond 45. We hope you enjoyed it. I'm John Hopper saying we'll see you next time. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Tony Canigliaro Memorial Gymnasium for St. Mary's Girls Basketball, taking on Font Point, their last regular season. And who would have thought that they would have played 20 games? Nice pass, they missed a layup. They did everything right, great pass, and it came up short on the layup. They tried to go back door to Priera, up overhead. Tipped away, Plump Pong gets it back with a chance to get on the board first. The near 16 and 3. Another great year for Jeff Newhall and the girls' basketball team. Wheelies saw that pass coming, missed the layup. Dietrich had to save it from going in the backcourt. They bothered Quillies a little bit. They try to go inside and get picked off. Tough shot. Bergdorf with the rebound. A nice pick, but... It was Montalvo with that pick, but she got bothered and had to take